<clears throat> Alright, it's Paintball Squirrel 72 here. And I figured I'd show you guys my, uh, I guess it'd be more of a bug out kit than a really a tactical, I don't know, zombie apocalypse type bug out stuff. Um, I guess I'll start with my main firearm now. Right, I have a single point sling on here. It's kind of nice. Just attach the buffer tube right now. I don't have the sling adapter. Um, as of right now, I have a 10 round magazine in there. I um, believe it is a Pro Mag steel. I just have a cheap red dot sight on there. True Glow, it's good enough for now. Um, I have the flip up sights. Um, Samson, Samson, th something or other makes them. We got the uh, Mag Pool furniture on. This is a, let me see, it's a Black Hawk grip. And I have the Mag Pool front grip. See, I've got the flip up front sights too. Sam Samson. Um, got the UTG folding. Alright, so I have the uh, Mikula compensator. Makes this thing really loud. This is a piston driven AR system. It's uh, Adam's Arms. It's got the adjustable piston system. It's got the extendable, extendable stock on here, or adjustable, I should say, not extendable. Um, what else? It has a heavier buffer tube on, and the uh, compensator again make it shoot like it's a feels like it's a 22 recoiling. So oh, my older, it's not really my close quarters combat, but it's my just my go-to rifle. So it's pretty beat up. You can see it's got some wear on it, some scratches here and there. Very thoroughly clean, very taken well care of. It's my baby. Um, next to go to my handgun. It is in a Blackhawk Serpa 2 holster. All you need to do is press this, and I probably can't do it with one hand, but uh, it's a retention holster. Sorry, I'm doing this with my iPad, so bear with me. Sorry about that. All right, yep. This is it's got the uh, ten round Chip McCormick Power Mag in there. It's loaded now, so that's why I'm being kind of kind of chances the hammers down. All I got is flip the hammer back and it's ready to go. Five inch barrel. It's a Rock Rock Island Armory 45 caliber 1911. It's got the uh, whole wrap around grips in there. I love those. Really comfortable. All right, um. I mainly got the Serpa holster because I'm going into law enforcement and that is seems to be a very popular holster with everybody. So I got it just to train with as a training aid and to use as a daily carry. Um, so far it's been very comfortable, very easy to use. Right. To my shotgun, I've got a Mossberg 500. Let's see if you can see the details. It's custom painted. Um, it's a factory watchdog. I didn't have this on, it came from the factory, like this is the Watchdog Edition. I just thought it was sweet as hell. It's got pit bulls and chains and shit all over the place. Um, it has the, uh, it's got a fiber optic front sight on it. Um, the reason why I have another barrel in front of it, this is the 18 and a half inch, it's on right now. You can see. I have a 20, 28 inch smooth bore on it from my other Mossberg which I can't fit in the safe with the barrel on so I keep the barrel and the, the shotgun separate um, I figured that if shit really is hitting the fan the two seconds that it's going to take me to grab that extra barrel give me a little bit more accuracy if I need it is not going to kill me it's in the safe with the same gun it's in the same safe as a shotgun anyways right now I've just got this uh, I don't even know what brand of this it's just a cheap, it's got elastic right here. It's mounted into here and into the bottom here. Just a cheap sling on here. Good enough for now until I actually buy this one. Right now I've got my... All these guns are loaded by the way. But I guess there's no kids running around playing with them or anything like that. I don't have any children running around here, just my girlfriend and I. 
that she knows better than to play with that stuff. Um, this is the kind of ammunition I've currently got stacked up. Um, got the 55 grand full metal jackets and some sluggers. Royal Buck. I was impressed with this Royal Buck shot. This is a real brand. It's actually really nice. And then my 45 is loaded with this just for now until I get some uh, actual home defense rounds and stuff like that. Uh, being a broke college student doesn't allow you to do that very much. Alright, uh, chest rig. This is my chest rig that I recently purchased. It has three magazines, pistol and um, rifle platform. Did not come like this, obviously. I bought it all separate. Right here is my eye protection. There's sunglasses and clear lens glasses in here. Um, I've got my ear protection attached right here. High quality ear protection. You should get yourself some. Right here is just a uh, just a pouch. I can put a knife in here, a flashlight in here. I don't have anything in here right now, but it's just just ready to go. I said just this the pistol mags. This is the old magazine I got with the handgun. Seven rounder. The pistol magazines are front is Velcro holds them in. I have the uh, eight round 45s. Actually, really cheap. Holds eight of them. Um, I have another one. The only reason I've got the eights and the sevens in there is my tens. They don't fit. If you can see, it's about an inch too long on the bottom. So I'm using my iPod. Not very good quality. Um, bottom here is uh, it's actually a shotgun shell pouch. It's got the Velcro here for all your cool little tabs and stuff. I don't have on right now. I've got it loaded right now with I have the real buckshot in the back and the sluggers. I have five sluggers because that's a box worth. I've got five sluggers in the front and since it holds 12 I've got another another um, buckshot here. You can see that. Just uh, hold them by the loops and stuff like that. It's an individual loop. Keeps them all kind of secure. If you didn't want to hold shotgun shells here, this would make it perfect like a uh, flashlight, glow sticks, um, knife, utility stuff, pouch. I have a space right here for another utility pouch to go. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Eventually I'm going to rearrange it and put a third tier of mag just magazines with the molly in front. And then have three more behind here. These three, and then the three pistol pouches on top, because the pistol pouches are actually attached to this. This came like this. Um, got my CAA magazines. They're beautiful. I love them. They have the, uh, there's a button on the bottom here that pops out when it's completely loaded. It's, as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see it, actually. Okay, you can't see it because it's got 29 in. But you can see the magazine counter. That's 28 on the bottom, that's 25, 20, 15, 8. Um, has plastic feed lips, but I haven't noticed. But anyway, when the magazine is completely full, it's got 29 in right now. This white piece pops out. Let me see if I can scrounge up another round from one of these ends so you can see it happen. Um, Newer magazine, so it's hard to get that last round in, especially with one hand. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, got it. All right, if you can see right now, the white piece is popped out. Like at night, you just feel. Okay, that one's loaded. That one's empty. If you shot, you know you have loaded them all up beforehand. You know you have three of them, six of them, or whatever. You can feel. Okay, that one's full. Or when you put your old one back, cause you don't want to lose them because you bought nice magazines and stuff. Um, see, when one shot's out, it uh, see, goes back in there flush. And you can see this one's got 28 in now because I took the one out. You can see it's at the 28. This white thing will rise up. And uh, I like how it's textured. Gives you a good grip. The one thing I don't like about these magazines are the fact that on, a, on an open bolt, I mean, I'm sorry, on a closed bolt, it's hard to put into the rifle. You have to actually slam it in there. 
on an open bolt. We have the bolt being held open. They go in very nice and easy. But a full magazine on a closed bolt, that's probably the same with all most magazines. But they are hard as heck to uh, stick in. They get to slap them. Um, next are going to be my shooting gloves. They are my old football lineman gloves. They're padded here on the knuckles so I can you know, have to bust them up and stuff. They're kind of falling apart, but they are gripped. Um, Velcro. Top two fingers cut off on here. They're beat to shit, but I love them. They're so comfortable. Um, let's see. Other stuff that I am going to be taking with me, either in a bug out bag or anything like that, is I have my a zippo lighter. This is going to be on my purse anyway, so when the zombies come, I'll be uh, ready for that shit. Start all the fires I want to. I have my Gerber, the old utility knife here. This is a half serrated half. Just a blade. Spring loaded. Makes a cool little shh noise. And I enjoy it. It's very sharp. Holds a point very nicely. My other 10 round magazine, which I'm going to have to either carry in my pants pocket or not at all. But I have this guy here. It's a 15 round 1911-45 magazine. I want to say... Actually, I'm not even sure who makes it. But I haven't shot it yet. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I heard that you can only hold 14 in the 15 round magazine. Yep, then I got my knives, headlamp, my hatchet, 